One size doesn't fit all, but consistency is key. Hi, my name is Patricia. I just had a conversation with someone that inspired this video. So I do have some notes that I might be referring to. I came up with some great thoughts from what we talked about and the advice I was giving that person. So when you're creating a learning experience, and the keyword is experience, think about these five things. First, the audience. So I will link some other videos that I talk more about this, but think about what lights them up and the variety um, of what that involves. Number two is the practical aspects of your presentation. So you, it could be a keynote or a workshop or a different kind of learning experience. Are you providing this over and over again to different audiences? Are you having to travel? So just think of some practical aspects. Are you providing it in different situations, scenarios, contexts, the, the tools you'll need to bring with you if you're traveling? So think about that as well. And number three is even when you repeat the event over and over again, think about can you consistently give a great learning experience with results every time. So that ability to repeat, there are some aspects to consider for how you're constructing your learning experience. Number four is key to have aspects that can change, be interchanged. So such as a case study or example that it's relevant to the context of your audience. So if your audience changes, it might be different sectors, it does take a little bit of work to think about this, but consider aspects of your learning experience, for example, the keynote or the workshop that remains consistent and pieces that you can move in, in and out. So that might be an activity that might be the, uh, the role playing script, because if it's not relevant to your audience, if you typically speak to all executive directors, but then you're invited to a conference and then there's a bit of a mix, you want to have in your toolbox of resources, maybe a bit of a mix for different roles um, and examples so that you are speaking to everyone. So consider that, that's number four. And then number five is to go beyond what you like. So to reach the variety, in your audience. So even if that's stretching just a little bit um, for something that you might not need, but the person that tends to tune out, that is attending, but maybe doesn't want to be there, but their boss told them to be there, think about the variety. So even if it's something that you don't need for your own learning, or maybe even something that's a little bit beyond what you prefer, um, at least consider it uh, as, as when you're adding in the variety. So a quick recap, number one, think about your audience first. Number two, the practical aspects of if you're providing it in different locations. Number three, when you repeat it, can you give a consistent experience with results? Number four, can you interchange some of those elements so that you're specifically customizing and reaching the context of your audience? And number five, stretch just that little bit to doing something or adding something into your learning experience with that might not be something that you typically do. So that's the five suggestions for today. And I appreciate if you would like this video, subscribe. We do have videos every week. And comment below if there is a particular topic you would like me to, to create a learning experience for you about, whether it's a video, podcast, and blog. Thanks for tuning in today. And until next time, my name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. I hope you have a light bulb learning moment today and that you reach and engage your audience.